<laughs> How do you ensure that the backlog is transparent to all the stakeholders? Well, I'll put my Scrum Master hat on. Technically, it's the product owner's problem, so don't worry about it. But in reality, you know, we as a team need to make sure that the stakeholders are aware of what's in the backlog, what order it's in, that they can have meaningful conversations, that they can draw informed conclusions. Okay? All of that stuff's important, so making sure it's transparent is critical. And we need to remember the two parts to transparency. You know, this is very much the empirical process control pillars, the empiricism side of things coming through. Transparency is both availability and understandability of information. Okay, so how do we make the backlog available to our stakeholders? Well, it's going to depend. Where is your backlog? Is it sat on somebody's laptop? Well, you probably want to fix that in this day and age and get it into some sort of cloud system. Okay. And is it in some sort of cloud system? Well, you probably want to give them you know, a login. Accessibility, availability of data isn't too difficult these days. Right? When I first started in the Agile world, we're talking about index cards or post-its on a wall. Okay? Making it available to people who aren't in the same building becomes tricky. And we used to take pictures. I mean, genuinely, camera came in before camera phones, take a picture, upload it to an email and send it to everybody so everybody's on the same page at least once or twice a day. That's not ideal okay and it's actually it's a real upside to the electronic systems we have today where you can log into whatever one of your choice is and see it but that's only part of the puzzle of transparency is that understandability okay? that is critical that transforms data into information something that they can act on so as a scrum master we are absolutely invested in the stakeholders understanding the information in the backlog that they can draw those conclusions they can have informed conversations so once they have access to it however your organization deals with access to the cloud systems that you likely use right, you as a scrum master and your product owner really need to be out there talking to stakeholders teaching them this is what it means Yes, it's in this order, but it's only in this order today. As we learn things, as we explore things, stuff's going to change. New things are going to be added. Other things are going to be taken away. All of this is important. Okay? So how do I deal with that normally? Well, actually, the hardest part is often getting access. Is genuinely, in my experience with most large organizations, getting somebody a login to JIRA is harder than explaining what a list of stuff is. Um, so if you can... Get that one, and that is entirely specific to your organization. You've probably broken the back of the problem. Now what you need to do is get and talk to those people. Explain the purpose of a backlog, that it's not a list of requirements in the traditional sense. We aren't building everything. It's a list of options. We might build these. Okay? We might not. New things will be added. Things are going to change shape and size and order and all of these things all the time as the team learns. So what we need to do once they've got access is teach them how to read a backlog. You know, explain it. It's not the hardest concept in the world of Agile. It's a list of stuff. Okay? If you're using velocity and you're pointing things up, you can likely say, we're moving about this fast through the sprints. And that means that we'll get to the stuff you're interested in in this many sprints, given the information we have today. And make sure you always have that caveat. It's a point in time. It's a snapshot. Things are happening. That list is going to change order. We don't know how and we don't know when, but we do know it's going to change. Okay? So it's that conversation ongoing, helping them understand you're not predicting anything. You're not you know, committing to anything with this backlog. You're just putting it out there and saying this is the right way to approach this problem today. And through the day, we're going to learn things and that might impact this order and therefore the answers you're seeking. So you need to keep coming back and looking at it again and updating your opinion. And if you need to, as a stakeholder, and we care about your opinion, come along and talk to the product owner. Explain your concerns if you have them. Explain your insights if you've got them. Offer them freely to the team so they can do the best job they can of creating a product that satisfies your need or your user's needs. 
because really that's what we're trying to do is give everybody the information they can to recognize bring together with the information they've got from other places and recognize opportunities to be better to deliver a better product in a better way okay. so our role as scrum masters is remind the product owner that it's actually on them to make sure it's available but really make sure that the people who need access to your backlog have access to it and once they have access to it they actually understand what they're looking at if you've got to this point in the video i hope you've enjoyed it if so a like would be appreciated if you want to hear more from me more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the agile world please subscribe to the channel and if you've got a question that you really want answered drop it in the comments I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.